I think I'm going to do a micro home because with these ones, I feel like I always have it's just a regular sized house, like 64 by 64. Maybe that's not a regular. Oh, wait, no, that's 55 to be fair. That's not a tiny home. That's a house. I don't know what about that is tiny. I feel like 32 by 32 actually gets my brain moving. What would be 64? That's 66. See, even that, I'm like, that's not a tiny home. That's a decently sized property. I dread to think how much that property will cost in America. Not America. I mean, maybe America. I don't know what the housing thingy is like over there. I meant to say in London. See, I think that's a decently sized house, but also I did grow up in a bungalow. But like the layout of my house, angly ongly. I've just built my house. Oh, this is my parents' house, but this is literally the, the size of my parents' house. Right, 32 by 32 is, that's 24, 28. 30. Oh, that's such an odd size. Maybe I could put it like there and this could be the entrance of it. And all I know so far is that I want it to be autumnal. I don't have a clue like in what way. I don't have a clue what that means. I just want a little autumnal fairy style cottage because autumn is here in my brain. That is not working for me. But then if I put that there, I don't want it to be like roof upon roof upon roof, you know? But I do want a little barn a bit there. I don't think that looks that bad. I think it might make sense once it's actually being built. We could have it like that because we could have, say, a front door here. One thing I'm learning about myself is to is to give myself time, like actually let it breathe. <laughs> Maybe not. Well, we could just have it like a shack in the woods. A witch cottage could be cool. I think that's the kind of the vibe it's going with. But I do feel like this bit's empty. Maybe not a roof. Maybe a roof shouldn't be the thing I'm looking at. Maybe if we pitch the roof higher and then just put maybe even like two of them to kind of make it look like, oh, but then it goes up there, doesn't it? What if we just sneaky, sneaky hit it like there? And then that kind of looks like a room. I don't mind that. I think that looks good. I actually might delete that and just put this one because that one's going right through and I don't like it. That's a vibe so far. I'm really not planning to have horse ranch stuff be the, the, the only pack that I'm using but so far it does seem like the horse pack stuff is the only thing that I'm using and I can't be mad about that. I need the perfect front door. Maybe honestly just that one would do and that's what you know I like that. Fucking with that door because that door's fucking with me. Oh this looks so cute. I'm actually really vibing with it. I might even put a big window there. Maybe not. Maybe I won't put that big window there. Be honest with me does that look like a shocked face? Because to me it looks like someone going but I don't know what else to put there. Maybe I put an open door but then if I put a big door it kind of it's going to take up the entirety of the space. I actually don't think that might be a bad idea because then that doesn't mess with the lighting of the rest of the house. I could just put a little arch. What if we don't have double arch? That could work. I don't mind that double arch. Kind of evens it out. I'm not gonna lie, I know myself as a person and this this could all change because they haven't actually done the inside of the house. The main thing I need to worry about is the bathroom, which I think can go right there. And that fits well as well because then we've got the tiny window. So the bathroom is now no longer any of my business. Hmm. I want to put the bed like looking out over there. Because if I had this this house, I would want the view. Do you know what I mean? That is a stunning view. But we could even have like curtains over here. Okay, that one just, yep, just slides right in. That would be so pretty. I don't know if those are going to be the final curtains. Or even actually for curtain, I am getting too far ahead myself. If we had a nice autumn swatch in these, I mean, that, that, there's a little bit of cutting in there, but we do not need to worry about that. That's kind of autumn. I was going to say that's kind of autism. No, that's me, babe. That's me. But that's kind of autumn in like the whimsy goth sense. So that could work. I didn't even know that had that swatch. I could even go for a single bed, to be honest, because whoever lives in this cottage in the middle of the woods, it doesn't look like they need a double bed, if you know what I mean. But spacing wise, that could go there. And I'm just shotting this in. This is not the final thing, just to see what fits. Kitchen there. <gasps> Guys, where have all my counters gone? I hate it when it does this. Counters are feeling shy all the time. There is no need. We don't have a living room in here is the only thing. That's kind of stressing me out. Yeah, yeah, this works because we don't need like a full bath, although a bath would kind of give cottage vibes. So that could go there and we could have a toilet there. That is looking pretty cramped. But you know what? If James Turner, formerly known as System Supply, can do a one tile bathroom, I can do a five tile bathroom with everything in it. I believe in myself. We probably won't, but we could fit a double bed back in. I think a double bed might go with the vibes more, but we don't necessarily need to fit one in, but we could. With the little end table there. And then for a living room, I'm just thinking, you don't need a telly when you've got nature. So we don't even need to worry about a telly for me. We could just have a rocking chair. I don't, not this chair, but like just a makeshift chair for now. We don't even need that counter really because we can make food on this corner one you need a bin though I'm gonna take a second to pat myself on the back for remembering that and your sims would just eat on the chairs but i don't know if i should include a table maybe a bootcase instead i feel like a bootcase would be more important than a table that's nice and cozy right now for the actual outside of it i just know that i want it to look like a forest do you know what i mean my plan is for this i might need to move the entire house over by one lot that kind of looks like a 
I kind of wanted it to go like all the way around this tree. But is that realistic to, tr to undo that? I might rig it up a little bit as well. Like I don't think it actually needs to be as big as it is, you know. I'm not that good with the terrain stuff. just want it to look more realistic. Like this does not look realistic. Especially not that tree. I actually think I'm just overthinking this pond. Like I actually think... Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that one. I actually think if I just flattened this bit, it would look a lot better. Like, I don't think it needs to be as big as it is. I feel like that's a much more reasonable one. And I might put a smaller tree on there. But I also kind of want to put something like that. I think that's about the right size. It is looking a bit more foresty. I'm going to keep this bit all mud, basically. But have it as like a little trail that you can go through. Oh, my God, this fucking, fucking terrain tools piss me off this is why you should never stray out of your comfort zone i'm absolutely loving this swamp by the way feeling very shrek in this swamp i'm focusing more on this like little bog thing than they actually have in the house i need to figure out a way to make this all connect as well i kind of want to ignore this bit but it would make no sense if i turned it around really would it i'm kind of stuck now i'm like what do i put here this kind of looks dead and like this grass is given too alive for a bog so i think we might need just need some dead looking stuff honestly the vampires pack might be good for this these creeping thorns i think that might be a lot better and then we can kind of mix the greenery in with it i'm looking at it and i'm starting to think like is this too much grass it does kind of look like a bog that's funny because bog is like spam not spam the fuck slang a toilet where i live i know the rest of it is kind of boggy but i kind of want to make it so this bit is kind of pretty with nice flowers i think that's good oh my god yeah alligator that's what i wanted to put in i wanted to put in little fishies oh fireflies would be so good around this bit too but now believe your eyes little tadpoles as well and one big alligator i don't think they'll come out yet but i really want to see the fireflies honestly the person who lives here is breaking my heart a little bit because i can just imagine them like trying to do the best for the bog basically like trying to make the bog look less of a bog so including plants and stuff I would live here. <laughs> oh, bees as well. We've got to include bees. I don't think I'm going to go for a hand painted one, but maybe one like that could be cute. And we could have it back there. Do you think they'd have chickens, actually? We could have a little chicken coop there. I think it's maybe too small for a cow, but chickens definitely could be cute. Oh my God, look at that swatch. That is so autumnal. Oh, this breaks my heart. I love it. That is so cute. Do I put one of those in? I mean, people do go all out for Halloween, so I guess we could. And then we have little ghost lights, but I might just put him out the front so it kind of looks like they've decorated for halloween rather than like having it so on the nose that it's all over the vibes here are immaculate if i do this all myself oh that's kind of autumnal i'm gonna search for more pumpkin stuff oh that is beautiful i know bootcase is more usable but that could look really cute there and it could be like green like a autumnal swatch i'm thinking orange and green for the inside of the house i'm thinking out here we have maybe the you know like the tiny like this one i think that could go in well with it maybe even a green swatch actually if we have one just hate that it's kind of floating I need to find a place where it's not maybe that and then i can just hide that one there we're just going to pretend that these are apples for the apple bobbing contest oh that is cute oh can you imagine it's just like oh just near the, just near the chicken shed just you know to clean the chicken shit is that pretty much the outside done and do we have any other swatches of this because i didn't actually look properly i think that one goes better i might not put an overhead light on this one because i want it to be quite witchy so i might put the these things on just either side of the window do i even include a sink because i could just use this one all right if i put this here kind of popping through that wall a bit if you really look so if I put that there, can I then use that toilet? No. That is my answer for that. You know what? I don't think I'm going to include a sink because actually in old houses like this, it's quite common to have a sink in the bedroom. So I think I'm just going to keep it like that because I really want this bathroom to have a bath in it. I don't know if I'll include that specific one, but it's got to be a clawfoot tub. Maybe that. Let me actually bring it out here so I can see it in the lighting. That could work. It's like green. It's not light green. It literally is green. Just keep the bath outside. I potentially could. You know what? There's a free bath here. I don't see this bathroom having tile. I don't think wood is necessarily um, friendly to the bathroom, but I can kind of see it be... Maybe I have like a little shack. Actually, I don't know if I do want this to be all wood. It just looks a bit bare. And there's like so much personality on the outside. I don't just want to not carry it through. So maybe I just have the bathroom be bricks. A little gallery wall there. And then shelving here, I think. Maybe shelving there. I don't know. We'll see. You know what? I'm going to do the kitchen because I feel like it all rests on the kitchen. I quite like the oven. I really wanted orange and green, but we not really any orange. I think the only orange is like the super modern. Oh, wait, no. Realm of Magic is kind of, kind of orangey. I think if we did that with the black and then change these to be a darker swatch. Perfect. And then we've kind of got the orange and green going. Did Realm of Magic not come with fucking counters? You bitch. This has ruined my life. How am I supposed to go on? That's not even a matching green. Green. My life is in shambles. I remember the last time I felt happy. That's how much this has ruined my day. I mean, what the fuck are we supposed to use instead? Like, there's no matching ones, bitch. And I don't want to just use a black one because I feel like that would be too overwhelming. Would it? If I made it all black? No, I don't think I like it. Well, I might still have it black, but I might do 
that and that and then that kind of fits more okay i'm on board with that oh we need a sink i really do not want these sims to be able to wash their hands if the sink color can kind of match it might go a bit better that's just so gold isn't it i might oh maybe that that kind of blends in a bit better and then i can bring this up to the top do i make that black as well no i just think like that looks a bit more usable rather than just the cabinets perfect 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 do you have a counter to kukon it's this one i'm just gonna check it to make sure it works i i, I click the wrong thing click the wrong thing enjoy your food, food though darling okay well she's put it on there so i'm guessing that they do have a counter to kukon oh i can see the fireflies as well guys you would not believe your eyes I don't think the wallpaper is working for me there if i just section this bit off with wallpaper maybe i've realized that i'm going back to the wood thing that i said that i wasn't going back to because i didn't like it maybe if we just had that so it, that kind of felt like a separate living room honestly even if we put that there built a wall so that separated even more and then we could hang curtains it might be a tight squeeze so i don't know if i will actually keep it but that's sure on the other side oh i think it does this to me on purpose you know what about something like that and then it's still kind of open and you can see through them oh <gasps> in green to be honest like i know that i've already used these in the front part of the build but that could be a shout less 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 it kind of overlaps the eaves but i've already fought it so much i i, I, <laughs> I also might change this wallpaper because it's just not giving me the vibe that i want i might just do something plain then if i feel like if i do something plain i need to get rid of these i might put that there though do you think they'd have a tv i know it's off the grid but like how off the grid should it be because i think a little oh my god and she could even have it halloween -ied. like a little halloween thing at the foot of the bed with a tv TV on it i think that could be cute or maybe even actually i think an old tv would probably fit the aesthetic more i just need to raise it up to how high it actually is and then that's a bit too low too high goldilocks and then because i got rid of the bookshelves i think i might make some custom diy bookshelves Schley. i'm thinking that or that but i think that might come out too much like realistically if you were live in bed i would be scared of hitting my head off that all right the decision has been made for me we are going black whoever lives here as well a hundred percent reads a lot of books so i'm putting a lot in i put some of these in but kind of hide the plant oh can't really hide the plant is the thing i mean we kind of kind of we put it like that or maybe i just put it in the middle just so it doesn't look like i've placed the exact same books again and again and then i think just loads of little knickknacks that would make sense for the house more books the one thing i do think that this place is missing but we just don't have the room for it because I, I i much prefer that view is a fireplace thank you please let me in i'm going to do the, the thing i use every single time and just put a mirror next to the front door and then it looks usable that is so high why is that mirror so high that that just renders that mirror unusable pisses me off oh this mirror could be perfect though stunning i'm gonna put the rocking chair outside just because i don't actually know if we'll have room for it oh fireplace in the corner where the baskets are that could be a shout move the bin there and move this over and then that's usable there oh, and then it fits as well because it's just like a tiny little one that would definitely be enough to heat the whole room i'm not i'm not necessarily sold on the aesthetic of these chairs but they just look so comfortable now i find myself like going and gravitating to them a lot or maybe something like this with that behind so i feel like that uses the space more plus it's a tiny house like if you want to lie down you could just lay on this bed not a bit of bother and then i think just a rug and jobs are good and maybe that but i would want it to contrast i actually might change this hutch as well i'm not sure or i might change the chairs i might have a mismatch yeah i think we're gonna do mismatch the chairs so if we could have one that's orange or maybe you know what one that's it doesn't even have to be orange it can just be light brown right so that can be one and then the other one can be green green rocking chair that could actually that could be the the choice maybe like a, a plant to go here really skinny one i mean could the bin fit in there if we got a smaller bin i think it might have to be a bin because the bin fits perfectly there it's just a matter of if she can use it and then can you empty that Ew. oh that would have been perfect as well empty oh brilliant she can use it the only thing that annoys me about taking pictures is trees and everything look great but then as soon as you have to take a picture you have to move the tree which is the only thing hit the lag in this game oh i do need to do the ceiling yeah i think i'm just going to continue the the floor she's cute she still kind of looks like a face i'm not gonna lie after we decided the rest of the aesthetic i'm still not sold on those curtains i don't know if they go with the rest of it now because there's no purple in i might put the curtains over that and then for this one i might just copy and paste oh but they're not quite right but i could put these like that and then and then i could just put these over there to hide the fact that it's not all the same okay brilliant I, I, yeah i like that better now we can actually go in and take photographs why did it not i'm literally about to lose my shit with this house it's been smooth sailing every like for every minute so far i've been having a great time and right at the end she is boiling my piss oh stunning stunning she's a slayer where is my beam gone i swear to fucking god i'm about to lose my shit oh there it's just hidden it's just hidden do not worry guys i was worrying though it was in fact worrying that is so cute let me just 
zoom out so the column loads. She's really pretty. I love the view as well. I'm really glad we decided to do the arches. I could have lit the fire for the photos, but I will not. Oh, the bathroom is pretty empty. We all know how I feel about bathrooms anyway, so I'm just going to ignore that. I love how the crocodile is just like... <laughs> minding his own business in his swamp he just likes to be loved you know he just likes the attention i mean that's pretty much all the photos i can get of the swamp she's she's certainly swampy the chicken hutch star of the show for me stunning beautiful slay and that's the floor plan we did good i think we did good i'll put it on the gallery autumnal tiny home bedrooms <laughs> i mean to be fair zero but one it's on the gallery if anyone wants to download it and play with it i think we did really good i think this is one of my favorite builds that we've ever done bye guys <laughs>